Sometimes, when you go to the arcades, you see a lot of high-end prizes and simple-looking games. Sometimes, you'll beat the game. Or other times, the game will beat you. There's a lot of secrets that arcade owners don't want you to know about. Today, you will learn the tips and tricks on how to beat the game on this episode of How to Win. What's up guys, I'm back here at Tilt Studios in St. Clairsville, Ohio. This is at Ohio Valley Mall, guys. I'm gonna be showing you how to win Marksman. All right guys, so how Marksman works is, it's like kind of like Keymaster where you gotta put the device the into the this designated hole and win. Now, as you can see, there's one already missing. So you don't wanna go for that one because obviously you're not gonna get anything even if you put the plunger in the hole again. This is almost like Winner's Cube, Keymaster, it's basically Put the device into the hole. That's how it works, guys. All right, guys, so as you can see, each row has different shapes in front of the numbers of it. So there's nine different ways you can win, or nine different prizes you can win, I should say. And each one has a different shape. Now, this thing, this device is circular. It has to go into that hole perfectly. Um, so you can see there's a perfect spot on each one that that will fit inside of. Each shape is a little bit different, you notice, the third one on each row, guys, is a little bit higher than the other two. Like, you see where the center of this thing would be for those first two? It's a little bit higher for that third one. I know it's a little crazy, but see how, like, the square is a little bit higher than the heart and the triangle? That, uh, what is that, hexagon is a little bit higher than this uh, cross and the circle. And then the diamond is a little bit higher than the star and the spade. So that's one thing to note, too, depending on which row you're going for, to make sure that you raise it high enough if you're trying to go for one of those last ones as well. Just make sure you're not lining up with that first, first one over on the left, because otherwise you're going to be a little bit lower than that third hole. And then, guys, as you can see, they do have different prizes around the outside here. You got, like, number one, number two, number three, number four. Now, at Tilt Studios here, they're all tickets. In some locations, they may actually have like gift cards or like iPads, actual prizes. Tilt Studio used to have gift cards and like iPads and all that stuff, crazy actual prizes. But I guess people like me are winning too much, like that one video I did where I won an iPad at $300 Walmart gift card. So they changed everything over to tickets, guys. So that's how it is now, unfortunately, at Tilt Studios. But there are a bunch of these out in the malls, like freestanding out in the malls, and they do have payout rates. I know I've talked about payout rates in previous videos for these type of games. Again, the, the vendor has to make money, guys. They are a business. The idea is catching it when it's ready, letting everyone else play it till it play enough loses until it's ready, and then you come along and hit it. So let's do a little bit of gameplay, guys. Let me show you what it's all about here. Okay, so you put your credit on the machine, guys, and the timer does not start. There's really no timer on this. There's an up button and a right button. So you have to actually go up first before you go right. On most other games, you go right first before you go up. So we're gonna try for uh, number one here, guys. We're gonna try to love, line this up here. Okay, that looks pretty good that way. Now let's see, take a step over here just a little bit. There you go. Just so I can, just so I can stand there and do that. And guys, your best bet too, big, biggest tip for this, line yourself up with it. Get your eyes right at that level. So here we go. Oh, that deviated on us. So I'm gonna show you guys here what that means. So as you've seen in like previous videos, the deviation is usually up. Like the Winner's Cube video, it went up. Key Master, it goes up. When it's ready, it's not gonna deviate at all. And this one, the deviation is to the right. So, and I'm gonna show you guys how to test each row without actually putting it in if you wanna do something like I'm doing where I'm filming it. So, let's put another credit on, guys. And uh, we'll try for, uh, I think it's number five. Let's see here. Okay, so, I'm actually in line with it right now. So if I get this, it's gonna be a win, but. That's it. Oh! So guys, that did not deviate at all. So that means that one is ready. So let's see if we can go for that one again. I think I'm too high again. Yeah, I'm too high. So guys, it's very precise where you gotta put that. It's so close, it's not even funny. There we go. Still too high. That's odd. I don't know why it keeps going up when I let go of the button. Because the deviation on this is not up. It's to the right. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so here's the test too, guys. If you ever want to test if they're ready, put it right below where it would normally go into the hole to the right. If it deviates still to the right when you line it up perfectly, then you know it's uh, not ready. If it doesn't, then it's ready. So here we go. 
see now that didn't deviate guys at all so that means that that is ready i just need to line it up up and down so there we go there it is oh are you kidding me it looked perfect and guys that's how precise that hole is you got to be dead on, like perfect fit, or else it's going to bump one of the sides and be done with it. This is one tip, guys. These left ones are a lot easier to line up than, the, than further right. Because as the plunger's going up, it's right next to those holes. So here, watch. You'll see it goes right next to the spade. Too low. That's not deviating, though, so it's probably ready, guys. There we go. Oh, it's deviated on me. Wow. Okay, so that fooled me. Because usually, it won't, if, if it doesn't deviate when it's even that far below, it, it won't... Uh, it's ready. I mean... That looks good right there for number five. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's the win right there, guys. So that's what it looks like when you win. Number five is now unlocked. There we go, guys. We got 5,000 tickets for a marksman just like that. So uh, let me explain a little bit more here, and then we'll go to the ending. All right, guys. So that was marksman. It's a little bit easier than some of the other games out there because it's literally just two buttons, so kind of like Winner's Cube. But again, this is going to have a payout rate on it. So if you see something out there that has like an iPad in it, and that iPad is going to have like you know a $300 retail value, you're probably looking at $500 has to go in the machine before that iPad will even come out of it. So just give you a heads up there. Um, so it's worth it just to try maybe, and then if it deviates on you, just forget it, move along. Um, there is, again, no telltale sign on this one when it's ready, except for when you stop it there and it doesn't deviate. That's the only way to tell if it's ready. There's no other like signs to say, hey, yo, I'm ready to pay out, you know? All right, guys, so I think I covered everything about Marksman here. If there are any questions that you have, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them that way. Uh, just keep an eye out, you know, if you have any anything like that, just say, hey, you know, Joe, you covered this or you didn't cover this. What's going on? How do I do this? How do I do that? That's the whole point of this series, guys, is to teach you guys how to play games and how to win at them. So give you tips, tricks, things like that. So again, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll answer them that way. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as I always say, guys, I'll catch you guys next time.